If you're here because you want to learn how to do some custom wood burning without any expensive tools using only two things that are easy and inexpensive, you're in the right place. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to the shop. Uh, my name is Andrew Burke. This is Burke Makes Stuff. If this is your first time with us, welcome. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ding that little bell icon. That'll attach you to me. And anytime I upload something new to YouTube, you will be the first to know about it. Well, ever since I've been working more with wood, I've been looking for a way to put my logo onto it permanently. And the best way I came up with was to get what's called a branding iron. That's a piece of metal that you make really hot and you literally Literally burn your logo into the wood, onto the wood. Um, so I went online looking for one, figured I could find a shop that would make one for me, and they were super expensive. For what I was looking for, it was gonna be two, three hundred dollars, and that's crazy. Crazy. So I decided to go on to one of the best research tools, if used correctly, that exists on the planet, YouTube, and see what they had to say about it. And I found two awesome people that I already follow that both had uh, videos up about this and I was a little shocked because I thought I had watched everything they both had. Uh, the first is King of Random. If you're not subscribed to them by the way, subscribe to them. They are absolutely amazing. They do crazy stuff. Crazy. The other one was Laura Camp. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. She does some amazing stuff. She's a maker. Um, I'll put both of their links below uh, in the description so you can check them out through there. So King of Random and Laura Camp were talking about using two things to chemically burn wood. Boom. <laughs> Chemical burns. Never thought about it. Awesome idea. So they talked about using ammonium chloride and a heat gun. Now I already have a heat gun. I love my heat gun. This is my heat gun. It's a Wagner Burno 500. It burns stuff. I love it. Uh, so Laura Camp was saying how you could get it in any pharmacy. Now she's not from America, so you probably can where she is, but here it's a little more difficult. King of Random said you had to order it online. Also not correct. I did a little digging and I found out that this stuff can be used to mitigate the growth of bacteria in ponds. So I called my local pond supply guy, went over and picked it up. Really easy. Um, I used this straight out of the bottle. It's already diluted and uh, let's take a look at the process. This is a test. This is only a test. You can tell because I'm, I'm writing the word test on the piece of wood. I'm using a simple paintbrush just to do that, and now I'm hitting it with the heat gun. Now this is sped up 10 times. It's going to take about two minutes to get it going really, really well. But, as you can see, it gets better and better as you give it time. Now that I have some sort of a proof of concept, having proven it for myself that this thing actually does work, I'm gonna cut out some decals and we're gonna try a couple of different things with that to see how clear we can actually get the image when we burn it. While the stencil method definitely worked better than the original test, the edges still aren't clean enough, so we're gonna have to try something a little different. So here's what I came up with. I cut out another decal and I put it on, making sure it was pressed down really, really well, and then I removed the backing from it. Then I sprayed it with this. It's just a wood finish, but it should seal up all the edges of the decal, not allowing anything to get under them. Now, while this spray on finish usually takes a little while to dry, I realized, duh, I have a heat gun out. I can make that go way quicker. Now that that's good and dry, I can peel off the decals, exposing the wood underneath it that doesn't have the enamel on it. This bare wood, when we put the ammonia chloride, will be the only thing that gets discolored by the heat gun. That's exactly what we want. Just like before, we're going to apply that ammonia chloride solution to the wood now. As you can see in this gorgeous picture of the back of my hand, because I didn't think about where the camera was placed. Sorry about that. Then grab your heat gun again and start applying that heat until you get that beautiful color change. Now Stencil 2 came out way better than Stencil 1 and I think I'm really on to something with this enamel. So what I'm gonna do is go and apply that finish twice but I'm gonna speed you through this whole one because, well, you know how it goes. Thank you. 
Something I found really awesome about this project was exactly how specific you can be getting your colors directly how you want them. Just hold the heat in the same place a little bit longer and you totally change the shade. And it's so controllable, it was almost a little awkward. So it really is that easy. Uh, that's all there is to it. And there's really no limit of what you can do. If you can make a stencil, if you have good handwriting, if you can paint well, you can use this technique to do some crazy stuff. Uh, the lines that I finally got on the last one are so crisp and so perfect. I'm totally gonna be using this from now on. I might end up eventually getting a uh, branding iron, but for now, this works perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit it right now flick the bell that way we're attached you know what's going on guys thanks so much for joining me i hope you love the video take care there's a couple of things you can do now you can click this to subscribe if you still haven't, which would be crazy, or you could check out that video. That's one that I think you'll like. I made it, so I hope you do. Or you can go with the algorithm and you can check that one out. If you trust YouTube like I do, you should probably check that one out as well. Have a good one.